Day four in the trial for the 2016 murder of Abilene realtor Tom Niblo is well underway at the Taylor County Courthouse. KRBC's Noah McKinney is outside the courthouse for the first-hand account of the going on, goings on inside. Noah. Thank you and good afternoon. Um, yesterday's testimony was comprised mainly of family giving their own personal accounts at, you know, very personal at times, even emotional. But today was a much more analytical look at the events of December 2016. Many APD officers and detectives taking the stand to review and report on their investigation of Tom Niblo's 2016 murder. Now, the first major finding came from Detective John Wilson, who was originally the lead detective on this case. He says defendant Luke Sweetser's phone they found was turned off the night before the murder happened and was not turned back on again until about 9 a.m. that morning, at which point it pinged over at the Niblo family warehouse, uh, which many members of the Niblo and Sweetser family would have access to. That's over near Mesquite Street. Um, normally at 9 a.m., Sweetser would have been at work for an hour already, as we learned from one of his co-workers yesterday, though he says he was not there. And uh, as phone records could suggest, he was over at the Mesquite warehouse. Now, much was made about um, Defendant Sweetser's private interests, which according to court documents include things such as guns, um, machetes and knives, which they were clarifying as camping and hunting equipment, and zombies. Uh, several emails were read aloud sent by the defendant, Luke Sweetser, detailing his proficiency and even preference for certain weapons, uh, such as handguns and a machete, notably, because a machete was found at the scene of the crime and a separate machete was seized at the Sweetser household. Um, those things were both taken into evidence, though Detective Wilson did testify that no DNA of Luke Sweetser's was found on any of the items that were swabbed uh, for the things that were found at the scene. Now, uh, much of this evidence did come from the veritable mountain of digital evidence that we found out about on the first day that they seized back in 2017. Um, while it does take quite a long time to sort through all of the file, texts, um, emails, and every single last page, uh, this has certainly given us a very objective look into the case and uh, in the way that these officers were able to testify. At the Taylor County Courthouse, Noel McKinney, back to you.